Today we're talking about the newly crowned Europe's strongest man, Pavlo Kordiaka. Pavlo's recent performance at Europe's Strongest Man has kind of really opened everyone's eyes as to how good this guy is. We've known how good he is for a while. Last year at World's Strongest Man, he did unbelievable, was just in a really, really tough group. This year, the events are so good for him in the heats. Yeah. So, Auntie Liz, tell us some facts about Pavlo Kordiaka, the newly crowned Europe's Strongest Man. So Pavlo's first international competition was back in 2019 when he competed at the Amateur Arnold Strongman World Championships. But his real breakthrough performance was in the 2020 Ukraine Strongest Man when he beat Alexei Novikov not long before Alexei then went on to win the World's Strongest Man. The following year in 2021, Pavlo appeared at the official Strongman Games, taking the overall win and qualifying himself for Europe's Strongest Man 2022. Last year was his first appearance at the World's Strongest Man and he was in a super tough group and battled it out on the stone off with Maxime Boudreau, one of the worst people to have against you in a stone off. After 10 successful lifts, Pavlo was unfortunately eliminated from the competition, but has come back strong this year as the newly crowned Europe's Strongest Man. And when we did our video last year comparing groups across the board, Pavlo would have made the final or had enough points to make the final. It was just yeah, in a he was really in tough team. group yeah. and Maxime is not a guy you want ahead of, uh, against you on a stone off. So Pavlo's recent performance at Europe's Strongest Man, where he won three of the five events, was second in one other, and it was only the deadlift, which is notoriously his weakest event that's kind of cost him a little bit. Mm. Let's look at what the events look like at World's Strongest Man and see how we think he can do. So World's Strongest Man is starting off with the loading event, and Pavlo is rapid when it comes to loading. Extremely fast. He's won four out of five loading events that he's done in competition. He's an extremely dynamic athlete. I always kind of use the word athlete with him because he really is. He's fast, explosive. He's He just moves across the ground so quickly. You spoke about this in the Europe's performance where he almost picks things up and he's moving as he's picking them up. Yeah, he doesn't stop. <laughs> he is so, so quick. And I think this is an event that he can beat anyone in the world at. Yeah. Moving on to the deadlift machine. Now, very similar to Mateusz Kieliszkowski in strengths and weaknesses. Deadlift is not his best event, but just like Mateusz, I think this setup could suit him okay. And I still think he's not such a bad deadlifter that there won't be some guys he can beat in his group. Yeah, he's not kind of like the worst deadlifter no. there at World's Strongest Man. He's just not going to challenge the very top guys. But in a group, you've got to kind of wait and see who's in your group. If he can pick up even three points on a deadlift, he's going to be very pleased with that. And then going from the deadlift, we move on to the log ladder. Now, he won the log ladder at Europe's Strongest yeah. Man, beating some very impressive log lifters. He's fast and he lifts explosively. Well-trained, his clean's really efficient. And he, rather than kind of like pressing using that kind of like a, you take say like a, an Eddie Hall, a Graham, Hicks, a Bobby, Bobby Thompson, um, Luke Stoltman, they're all big and strong in the shoulders. He's dynamic and explosive. He uses mm -hmm. a lot of leg power, it almost jerks the, the log, yeah. which means he can move it quickly. Mm. And if it's not too heavy, he is going to be hard again to beat this. I think it's going to be a similar weight to Europe's Strongest Man. He was yeah. the only athlete to do five logs at Europe's Strongest Man. I cannot see him scoring badly on this one. I can't see anyone in the 30 athlete lineup actually beating him on this one. I might eat my words later. Yeah, there, there's, there's always athletes that can. There's a lot of good log lifters. There is, but when but you, you think can't about see the that many being in the same event as him, the same group as him, no. and the fact that he can do it so quickly That's is going to make him I mean. very, very difficult to beat. And then another good event is the Conan Circle. Now, he just broke the Giants Live World Record on the Conan Circle. So again, you cannot see him doing badly on this one. I mean, how many people are going to beat Pavlo at a Conan Circle? I really can't see many that are capable no. of doing it. He destroyed the world record at Giants Live and just put in a huge dominant performance. Those events for Europe were so good in prep for World's Strongest Man Heats. He's got to be feeling confident going into this year's competition. And the only event that wasn't Europe's that will be in the group stages at Worlds is the kettlebell throw. Now we've seen Pablo do it a couple of times in competition before and he's never lost. He's a really good thrower as well. Of course he is. He's, he's one of those- tall, those explosive. Men. He's just really, you know, good at these type of events. I don't think he could have asked for a better set of events no. in the group stages, even with the deadlift in there. Mm -hmm. You know, he's got some of his absolute best events. He is going to be a nightmare. And then if needed, 
it will finish on the stone off. And he's a great stone lifter. Came second at the stones at Europe's. He had an epic battle on the stones last year with Maxime Boudreau, and we put Maxime into that category of Tom, Brian, Trey. Yeah. You don't want to be against those guys no on a stone off. But against anyone else, he's more than capable of winning. He is, but honestly, I don't think he needs to do the stone off. With those events, I can see him winning the loading, the log, the Conans, and the throwing in his group, in almost any group. Call me crazy. Maybe I'm just riding the hype train, well, but honestly... We, we still need to wait and see what groups will be, know. you know, but they look very good for him. Looks good. You know, he could potentially take three or four wins in, in the heats, which just makes you extremely hard to beat. And then, like we said, even two or three points on a deadlift is, is going to be enough. But... Nothing is guaranteed. No. However, Pavlo Kordiaka, with that win at Europe's Strongest Man, he's going to be feeling confident. He's going to be feeling great about the events for the qualifying heats. He's going to be a threat to make that final for sure. So, we're expecting him to make the final. Let's take a look at the final events, starting with the Fingles Fingers. This is one of those events we don't have any data for, but... I mean, you look at Pavlo, he's very tall. He's about six foot five. He's strong and powerful overhead. He's fast. You would think it would play to his strengths, wouldn't you? He's got all the tools to be really good at this one. You look at the guys that used to be really good at fingers when it was in a lot of competitions. It's that tall kind of build. You're in a higher position to push that finger over. He's going to be explosive at getting up from the ground to lock out. And again, he'll just drive hard. He's fast, dynamic. I think it could be a great start for Pavlo. Now the deadlift in the final is where I'd expect him to drop a lot more points. Yeah. In the heat, it's not gonna be quite as important, but in the final, you've got potentially 10 epic deadlifters, or nine if, nine. you know, eight perhaps. Eight if, um, the but there's gonna be a lot of great deadlifters. There will big be. 400 plus kilo deadlifters, all capable of big amount of reps. This one will cost him bigger points for sure. But hopefully he can make it back on the next event, which is the shield carry. And again, like we've got him carrying the Conans and carrying things in general, but we don't have him doing an event like this. But again, you'd think it would play to his strengths, wouldn't you? Well, we saw what he did on the Conans. He's got long arms, so he can get around different shields. I think, again, it should be a very good event for him. Not necessarily a banker. No, definitely But not. he is going to score big points. So the overhead in the final is the max dumbbell. How do you think he can do on the dumbbell? Like most of these athletes, we've only ever seen them do the dumbbell for reps. But he was joint first at the Giants Live World Tour finals on this event. And yeah, like he's very technical, just like Alexei. It's a Ukrainian thing, I think. <laughs> Except for Pavlo Neganecki, <laughs> interestingly. But I, I see him doing very well. Yeah, I, I, I think he's going to be around mid-table on this one. I don't think he's going to be dominating the event. There's some no. exceptionally good dumbbell presses, but very capable, very solid, and I'm sure he's been working hard on this. Sure. You know, they're, they're very technical, like you say, in Ukraine, um, very explosive, which helps on an event like dumbbell. So although I don't expect him to win, I certainly don't expect him anywhere near the bottom. No. Could be another event where he picks up points. Onto the truck pull, and we've seen Pavlo do this a few times in competition now, and he's never placed lower than second, but obviously it's at a different level and standard of competition, I was so gonna, it is hard I was to gonna compare. add that. We haven't seen him do a truck pull against the best guys no. in the world, and even last time he, he beat Alexei Novikov, but Alexei was never renowned as a good truck puller until last year, <laughs> uh, the, um, the bus pull at World's Strongest yeah. Man, where he surprised everyone, had obviously been working hard at it. So this one is an unknown for me yes. at this level, but again, he's fit, he's athletic, he's strong. I can see him doing well. I see him doing very well. And he's one of those, he's such a smart athlete. He gets the absolute best out of his body. And I know he's one of the lightest out there, but that never stopped Mateusz, did it? No, there's been some fantastic truck pullers that aren't necessarily the heaviest guys out there. And with the harness and rope, good technique can counteract that lighter body weight. So I'd expect, I don't expect him to win a truck pull, but I think once again, he can pick up some solid points. And then finally, the stones. Again, yeah. solid stone lifter. I think there are better stone lifters at World's Strongest Man. There are, but I think with his fitness and youth, I think he'll be one of the fresher athletes at this stage of the competition because we don't usually see the absolute best performances in the World's Strongest Man final on the Atlas Stones, do we? Because everyone's beat up. Everyone's beat up. <laughs> they are heavy stones at World's Strongest Man as yeah. well. So it's going to be interesting. But I think Pavlo is a real contender this year. You know, when you look at the events... The events for the heats are unbelievable They're for him. I'd yeah. say the events for the heats are better than the events in the final. Yeah. So I think he, I really believe he's going to make the final. 
the heat, the, the final sorry is going to come down to his own performances, not making a mistake, how good other people are. There's a lot of factors in there. But I can see him being in the top five. I can definitely see him being in the top five. It's made, do you know, his performance at Europe's Strongest Man has made me more excited for the World's Strongest Man because he's not someone I had up there with those guys. But, oh man, it really is going to be <laughs> I, I think, you know, I, I, I think Pavlo is going to be somewhere around fourth to seventh yeah I that's agree. where yeah. kind of I, w- I would place him mm. he's not one of my absolute favorites for the title no. but he's very competent he's improving lots and like i said those events in the heats if, if the events for the heats were the finals i would put him as a contender yeah overall just different events in the final makes him slip down a little bit but i'm looking forward to watching pavlo seeing how he can do the performance at europe's was fantastic if he can keep that confidence keep building towards worlds could be a very exciting world's strongest man for the Ukrainian. So guys, are you as excited to see Pavlo compete as Auntie Liz is? I'm excited to watch him too. He's really a dynamic athlete, really good to watch, and just a lovely, lovely guy. Really nice. He is, without question, a contender this year. Let us know your thoughts. As always, don't forget, like, share, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you guys next time. Stay strong.